2018, I set out a goal to grow this YouTube channel as much as I possibly could. Some of the advice that I received in order to do so is to try to upload a video every single day. I tried to upload a video as often as I possibly could and usually what that meant was about three to five videos a week. That advice of uploading a YouTube video every single day turned out to not be very good advice. So every single day what I was doing was I would come home from my full-time industrial design job, I would have a rough script in my mind, I would go ahead and set up the camera, set up the lights, shoot it, edit it, and upload it all in the same night. Yeah, trying to come over for the night, yeah. Baby, let me know if it's alright, yeah. I was thinking I could bring a sprite, yeah. And mix it with that vodka. I ain't got a car, yeah. I'ma pull up on you. Wake up every morning and I'm feeling like I saw you. Go to sleep at night, like, baby, let me put it on you. And I ain't gotta lie, I'm ready to get to you. So the reason why uploading a video every single day was so stressful was just because of how I went about doing it. I had a rough script of what I wanted to talk about, shoot that rough script, edit it all, and upload it all in one day after work. See, when you're trying to upload a video every single day and completing it, a lot of what gets thrown out the window is the craft and the care and the sensibility of the video. It wasn't something that I was very proud about, more of something that I was just doing. You can do that for a while, but over time, that's gonna really catch up to you. It really did catch up to me. <coughs> With all of this said, what ends up happening when you create videos like this is you make sucky videos and personally that's kind of how I felt with my YouTube videos. They were videos, they were informational, they were from my experience, but they just weren't well crafted and cared for. So going into 2019 guys, what's most important is to enjoy the process and love what I do. And the only way I can figure out how to do that uh, through my mental blocks is to really just take my time, eliminate the finish line, and just really enjoy the process and not think about just completing the darn thing. I really hope I learned my lesson and I'm just gonna have fun with it and if that's all I do then I would consider that a success. Alright you guys, go ahead and leave me a comment down below if you have any creative goals for yourself in the coming new 2019 year. And as always, hit that like button if you learned something. Hit that subscribe button to catch more videos and I will catch you guys next year. Peace! Yeah.